How do you handle conflicts in your relationship or in your marriage? Well, marriage relationship, we are all doing the same thing, right? There's some things that I have learned over time that has really helped me to handle conflict. I don't know how to fight. I don't know how to keep malice. So, and thank God for that because that really helped me in my marriage. So there's a few things I do whenever we have a disagreement. One, I live on prepared forgiveness. I forgive you before you do it. I love you already, so it's not hard to forgive you. So I just forgive you. Though I can tell you how that made me feel, I forgive you anyways. Two, fight fair. You cannot fight your spouse or your boyfriend in a way that you want to hurt them. This is someone you love. You people are just having a disagreement. It's so please don't go fighting the person like is he's your younger brother or your elder brother. Like my brother and I we fought a lot. So that's why I'll use that as an example. And when we're fighting, we try to get to a place that will really hurt the other person. But seriously, in marriage, you can't do that because when you hurt him, you hurt yourself. That's how I see it. Three, communicate what you're feeling. Because Yes, they would hurt you. Your spouse would hurt you. Your boyfriend of how many years would hurt you. Anybody would hurt you. But the ability to communicate and actually be heard is, is a gift. So you communicate how you feel. You communicate how that made you feel. When I talk about communicating, something that strikes me is timing. Timing is so, so important. You cannot stress it. You cannot communicate while in the middle of the fight. You actually choose a time where it works for both of you and you guys communicate about it. And finally, something we should know. Both of us can't be hot at the same time. I, I, I was discussing with some friends some weeks ago when they came over. The ability for someone to be cold when the other person is hot would help any fight not to blow out of promotion. Maybe I'm upset as well, and he is upset. I don't need one person has to calm down for the other. So when somebody sings something, doesn't mean the other person should talk and next thing you start talking and exchanging words and all that. When somebody is hurt and you see the person talking, I don't think it's the right time for you to talk as well. I think you can just calm down, listen to the person and say, okay, this is also how this made me feel. This is also how that made me feel. That way, I can assure you, you will not have constant problem about conflict resolution in your marriage. These are some things I do. I would like to know what you do to resolve conflict in your relationship in your marriage. Please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe or turn on the notification button. Talk to you soon. So guys, before you leave my channel, please subscribe and turn on that notification button so you'll be the first, yes, the first person to get any of my video uploads or my latest videos. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye.